Hello again and welcome back to my sewing room. Today we're going to do number six block in the Sew Your Stash series. This block is called the plaid block. And you can see I have a bunch finished here and that are not on my design wall because I'm making my quilt bigger than fits on my design wall. But that's what's fun about this block is you just make as many blocks as you want. Remember that they finish at seven inches. Right now they're seven and a half, but they finish at seven inches and so you can just sew as many rows wide or as many rows long as you want to, to have a king size, California king or a baby quilt. So this block consists of three and a half inch squares and then some background strips and one and a half inch squares. So let me talk to you about the cutting. So I'm using my three and a half inch basket and my seven inch basket. And when I cut out of my three and a half inch, let's see, I'll just grab a strip that will have to be 14 inches long. So you just quickly look and yeah, that's 14 inches long because that's how many you'll need to cut four three and a half inch squares. So what I do, so I simply just grab my strips because I'll need four matching three and a half inch squares. And then that's, that's why it makes uh, cutting so fast out of these baskets is because they're already subcut one way and you just kind of go the other way. Now the seven inch, I'm just gonna grab a red one and how I cut from that four three and a half inch squares, I can get two because they're seven inches tall. So I just do that, go in three and a half inches. And I can go ahead and stack them on top of each other. And either grab my three and a half inch square ruler or this one. So that's how I cut for the colors. I love how these both of these size baskets work together and I can get a big variety of blocks by just using my scrappy baskets. Okay, so for the background, for one block, you'll need four strips that match each other. You can do it scrappy if you want. I did mine to match. And they measure one and a half by three and a half. So four strips, one and a half by three and a half. And I've made these out of my, I've cut these out of my B backgrounds. A lot of people have asked about my, the backgrounds that I use. So when I say B backgrounds, that's the name of the collection. I designed these fabrics. These are my designs for uh, Riley Blake. That's who does all my fabric for me. And here's just a few of them that I've used in this quilt. I have a lot in the collection. I'm continuously adding to it. And I have all of the same color in the ground, meaning the same, it's kind of an off-white. It's not a bright white and it's not a creamy yellow. It's just kind of an off-white and it's called Cloud. That's the solid and Riley Blake that matches it. And then I just draw little designs and put on here in all different colors. And I really love how they all look together. If you watched my video last week in my pumpkins quilt, you can see how I used all of these together in one quilt as well. Okay, so that's about my backgrounds. If you want to know where you can find those, you could just Google Bee Backgrounds by Lori Holt of Bee in My Bonnet, and you'll find a lot of shops. And you can see which one is closest to you or ask your favorite quilt shop to get them. Okay, so now for the, we still need the one and a half inch square. So what I do with that is I just grab some strips from my one and a half inch strip basket, or really the easiest for this is this is my one and a half inch square basket. And so a lot of times I will just 
you know, pull a square from here. So let's do that one. Blue. Let's do this one. Pink for that. Okay, so now we're cut for two blocks. So let's go over to the sewing machine and I'll show you how I whip up two of these plaid blocks. Here I am at Miss Lucy and we're gonna sew two of these plaid blocks together. So basically when you sew these together, it's just like a nine patch. I'm just gonna be sewing this into a row, this into a row, this into a row, and then sewing the three rows together. And I will be pressing the seams open. Okay, well, let's get sewing. Okay, so here we have two of the plaid blocks. They measure seven and a half inches right now, and they'll measure seven inches when you put them in your quilt. So um, that's what the back looks like. I like to press these seams open, even though it's not a real complicated block with a lot of seams. The reason I do is because when you're sewing them together to go into the quilt, then you don't have to worry about um, if you press these this way, half of them this way and half of them this way, then you have to really plan where each block is going into the quilt. So I don't like to do that. I like to just press them all open, they lie flat, and then that way you can put them in any way you want when you're sewing them together. That's what the back of the block looks like. You could even sew four blocks together and make it a big block like this. This measures 14 and a half inches right now 
and it would measure 14 inches in the quilt. So instead of just doing single blocks and going across and making rows, you could make a big block like this, which might make it easier when you're sewing the rows together. But what I love about this block is, besides being a scrap buster, and you know, you can really use a lot of different prints and a lot of different backgrounds, is that when you sew them, so this is the individual block, but when you sew them together, it makes this look like plaid, which is why I call it the plaid block, but it also has a secondary block look. It kind of looks like you've sewn a four patch and then added sashings and cornerstones, which takes a lot longer than just taking a block and sewing it like this and then literally sewing the blocks together so that you can make it however big or small you want. This would be a really cute table runner, pillow, any size quilt. You can do it with all one colors, just different variations of reds maybe, and it would look like a big red plaid quilt. You can do it all in, you know, maybe like boy colors, dark colors, whatever you want to do on the variations. But I really like this scrappy. It's really fun. And I'll show you the quilt when I have it all finished. I'm not sure how many blocks I'm going to make, but it's going to be a big quilt. And I'm going to probably put it out in my trailer. So thanks for joining me this week. And I hope you're enjoying the Sew Your Stash series. And... I'm going to try to post uh, one or two of these next month. I'll be back next week with a crochet tutorial. I'll chat with you later.